what is waters in react first let's see what kind of problem does water solve when we want to render a component which may be completely separate from the original component such as a tooltips modal etc then it breaks the ui or parent view as you know sometimes even css is also not working perfectly and breaks the ui because of this problem rendering such components are pain now to solve this problem portals provide a first class way to render a children component into a dom node that exists outside the dom hierarchy of the parent component but still it can use all the functionalities of the main dom let's understand this by an example as you can see here in the inspect elements our whole app runs inside this div with the id root our app file is also reside in this main div let's create another div after the root div and give it an id let's say portal now in this portal folder create a normal create a normal component.js file and in this file i'm creating a class component using a react syntax by just writing rcc right this is a normal class component in the h1 tag and let's import this in app.js file I like to use react.fragments import it and save it and it's working fine as you can see here in the elements it's uh, in the root div Now let's create one more component name it as a portal component same as a normal component right this is a portal component import it in the app.js file as you can see here right now it's in the root div let's see how we can render it outside of this root div this is the syntax for using portals which uses a react dom first to create a portal and then there are two arguments the first is a child which represents any renderable react component the second argument is a container which is a dom element such as div don't forget to import a react dom from a react dash dom create portal and pass whole div as a child and in the second argument let's pass the div that we have already created in the index.html save this now our portal component is not in the root but it's inside of the portal div even though a portal can be anywhere in the actual dom tree it behaves like a normal react child in every other way this includes event bubbling or event propagation 
Let's see how it gets all the React child features while rendering differently. Just remove these two files. And create one parent component.js. Create a class component using a React snippet. And for the constructor, I'm using rcons to use a constructor snippet. In the constructor, what we will do, we will create one count state and create a on increment method which just uh, set the count state. Display count numbers here, and then we will create one more component in the portal, not in the main DOM, and try to access and update state in the parent component, which is in the main DOM hierarchy. Create one child component. And in the child component, pass the increment method as a props. And in the child component, we will create a single button which increments count value using an on increment method from the props. Let's create a portal and wrap everything inside it. Import the component in the app.js file. And now, as you can see here, Whenever I click on increment button, states get updated even though child component is not in the main DOM hierarchy. But it gets all the features of a React child. So an event fired from inside a portal will propagate to ancestors in the containing React tree. Even if those elements are not the ancestor in the actual DOM tree. Let's see a few more examples listed in the official documentation. Just go to the advanced guide and portals. There you can see two examples. First is a simple model. And as you can see here, whenever I, I open modal, the UI doesn't get affected because the model is rendering inside the portal and not in the main DOM hierarchy. In this second example, whenever I click on the click button, which is in the portal, the states get updates even though it is in the other DOM structure. This is the end of this video. Make sure to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.